three dimensional geometry the figure below shows a cuboid abcd efgh ac is equals to 52 cm bc is equals to x cm ce is equals to 28 root 3 cm and angle cab is equals to 30 degrees m is the midpoint of line fe determine correct to four significant figures part a the value of x so the figure is there part b the angle cae then part c the angle between planes bcm and efgh and then d the angle between line ec and af so those are the questions let's go to the first part now for the first part supposed to determine the value of x the value of x what you given is ac ac is 52 centimeters so ac can draw ac so that is what you're given you're given this one is uh, 52 and then uh ce ce is also given ce so ce is here so ce is also given as 28 root of 3 centimeters angle cab is given as 30 so can indicate this one as 30 no, 30 degrees so to determine the value of x we are going to consider triangle abc so consider triangle abc and triangle abc is right angled at b so if you extract that triangle you'll have something like this so extracting that it is right angled at b then we have a and we have uh, c so x is here and then the angle at a is 30 degrees ac is 52 centimeters but applying both sides of this equation by 52 you'll get x to be 52 sine of 30 degrees and this one are uh, correct for significant figures you'll get it as 26 but you know right 26 got to give it four significant figures to be 26.00 centimeters we go to the next question angle cae angle c a e c a e so let me draw uh, that line uh, we have c a e so the angle that we need to get is right here so this is the angle that is the angle that we need to get so i'll extract that triangle here I'll extract it here that you can see it so this is angle a that is the required angle then this is c and this one is e so we need to get that angle now to obtain that angle uh, we need to check uh, the measurements or the length that we need to find and um, the first one that we need to find is ae so we need to find ae so from the diagram here you need to find ae you will also need to find um, ab because uh, ab will help us to get af and then af will help us to get um, ae so we begin by getting a b once we get a b it will be easier for us to get um a f and then after getting a f that will help us to get a e so we start by getting a b and the triangle that you're going to consider uh in finding a b is triangle a actually getting a b will be quite easy just using uh the triangle that we have in part a just look at the triangle that we have in part a we can get a b since we have already got uh, x is uh, 26 so x is 26 so we can use pythagoras theorem to get a b so a b will be given by 52 squared subtract 26 squared like that and this one uh, this one will give just use our calculator here 52 squared subtract 26 squared get the square root of that that will give uh, 45.03 to correct to four significant figures 45.03 centimeters so that is the length ab remember that ab will help us to find um, af so allow me to rub some of these uh, details here so we have obtained ab is 45 0.03 and um, using that uh, it will help us to get af how do we get af uh, we shall consider we shall consider consider triangle triangle abf consider triangle abf i'll draw it here triangle abf so this triangle uh, this is uh, a this is b and this is 
f so it is rectangle at that point so you already have this one is 45.03 and now uh, the next one that i need you to be very keen in identifying is bf 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 is equivalent to ce which is equals to remember we are given ce as 28 root of 3 I'd like you to be very keen in identifying that from the diagram it may not look um, visible and clear that bf is equivalent to ce just look at those lines and try to visualize and see it in a different way not from the way the diagram looks bf is equivalent to ce so this will be 28 root of 3 so having a b and bf that will help us to get af and once we get af remember we are getting af so that it may assist us to calculate ae ae so af therefore af so af is equals to here you can use uh, pythagoras theorem you can use pythagoras theorem to work out these so af is equals to 28 28 root of 3 squared subtract 45.03 squared get the square root of that and this one will give just use the calculator this will give 18.01 remember we're giving our answers correct for significant figures 18.01 centimeters so now we have uh, af af is uh, 18.01 now the reason why we are getting af is to help us uh, get ae so now i will extract triangle a f e a f e let me extract it here a f e a f e so i'm extracting a f e so a f is a a f e it is rectangle right at this point so already we have um, a f as 18.01 a f as 18.01 then e f e f like to look at this diagram EF, EF is equivalent to CB, is equivalent to HG, like you to observe that. EF is equivalent to H, let me draw it actually here. So EF is equivalent to HD, is equivalent to CB, is equivalent to DA. So therefore, the measurement that you got here for CB, which was X, it is the same there so this one is 26 so ef is 26 so ef is 26 now we can get ae we can get ae now so therefore we work it here ae so let me use this space here so ae is equals to use pythagoras theorem it will be 18.01 squared plus 26 squared using pythagoras theorem get the square root of that and this one will give 18.01 squared plus 26 squared get the square root of the answer to be 31.63 centimeters so 31.63 centimeters now after getting that after getting that now let's go to the diagram remember we are getting the angle cae cae now we have ae look at this triangle that we had initially drawn here so this one is 31.63 then do we have ac 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 is uh go to the diagram ac was 52 from the diagram just look at it there ac is 52 and then um ec 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 is given there actually ce 28 root 3 it is actually given here in the statement 20 8 root 3 that one is 28 root 3 now using this triangle now having all the sides given we can get this angle and we are going to use the cosine rule to get this angle we hope that you are aware of how we use the cosine rule to find a certain angle or a given angle in a triangle having two sides and an included angle so using this the cosine rule and using triangle ACE we are going to have the cosine rule uh, like this eh? 28 root 3 28 root 3 squared is equals to 31.63 squared plus 52 squared minus 
52 multiply by 52 to multiply by 52 multiply by the other side which is uh, 31.63 multiply by the cosine of angle A like that so that is how we are supposed to find this angle using the cosine rule so 28 root of 3 squared is equals to or this so or like us to reorganize everything when you reorganize everything here i'm going to work it out here to save time very fast and uh, when you work out everything correctly because from this equation you're supposed to make cosine a the subject b 2352 28 root 3 squared, you got that one as 352 is okay. Is equals to 31.63 squared plus 52 squared. That one we got uh, 3704.46. Then 2 times, 2 times 52 times 31.63. That one is giving 3289.52 multiply by the cosine of a so now from there i've tried to simplify it uh, the next thing you're supposed to do is to make cosine a the subject uh, and when you make cosine a the subject i'm just like um, just trying to simplify this you will get cosine a is equals to 0 0.4111 and to get angle a you get the cosine inverse of both sides the cosine inverse of cosine a is a the cos inverse of 0 0.4111 will give 65.73 degrees so that is how you use the cosine rule to find that angle we go to the next part the next part is the angle between planes bcm bcm and efgh those are the angle that is the angle between two planes bcm and efgh so I'll rub this on so bcm so b bcm the plane may not be clear uh b c and m that plane uh when you look at the plane it may not be very clear because of the way the diagram looks like uh, just look at bcm may not be able to draw that one accurately so that it can be visible but i'll try to extract it and efgh efgh is the base efgh is the base so i will try to extract it here let me try to draw how it looks like so it looks like this eh? so this will be this is a b c and then this one is m and then we have the base we have the base of course the base is here i'm trying to simply do a sketch is a sketch what it looks like so the angle that you will need to calculate the angle between bcm and the base efgh this is how you're going to get it you will simply draw a line line passing through the middle of that plane and uh, straight line to that plane like that so the angle that you require is this angle that is here that would be the angle so in this diagram if i can just illustrate it it is this angle that will be here so the required angle will be here this will be the angle that would be the angle between planes bcm bcm and the base this is the base Starting to draw here efgh starting to just extract it here so that you can see it properly so that is the angle so this is the required angle here and this is the one that i had identified here so this is the required angle between the two planes bcm and the base the base is here so to get that you will simply need to extract that triangle and uh, i can just extract it down here so this is the triangle and that is the angle that is required so from the diagram you can see that is the angle at m is the angle that you need the angle at m so these measurements need to get these measurements uh the measurements from m and this distance from m we can call this point n uh, from m to n that is the same measurement as uh, a b a b that is the same measurement as a b a b and m n m n i've just named this one 
mn so ab mn and what is ab we had calculated that ab was 45 ab was 45 so this is the n so this will be 45.03 centimeters and then that height that height let's come to that height uh, remember the height we got af so the height af is the same height that we should have here this height that is here that height is equivalent with af we already got af and uh, af was yeah 18.01 we got it in part b 18.01 we got it is 18.01 that so using these two we can use tangent we can use tangent to get this angle so tangent of angle theta is equals to opposite divided by adjacent so get uh theta by simply dividing 18.01 divided by 45.03 the answer that you get you get the tan inverse and this one will give 21.80 degrees so that is part c the last part is the angle between that is part d the angle between line ec and af line ec and af line ec so let me rub this line ec ec so line S, ec is there and af 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 is here those are skew lines lines that do not meet so you're supposed to get that is the angle between two lines skew lines that are not meeting so how are you supposed to work out that you simply need to translate to translate one line onto the other for instance in this case look at af look at af af is uh, the same line you translate it to de you bring it here and now they are going to meet with this line and therefore you just need to get the 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 angle between them so i will translate this line af i will translate it here to de so i will translate it here to de like that so you notice that this line af and de are the same so i have translated af to de and now you can see the two lines are meeting now you have these two lines now meeting you get the angle between them so the angle between them will be these that will be the angle so we're going to use this triangle you're going to get this to use this triangle d c e we use that triangle and you can see it is right angled at d and we have all these measurements we have dc dc is the same measurement with um, ab which we got as 45 this is 45.03 and then the height here is 18.01 so let me extract that triangle so dec triangle dec triangle dec the required angle is this and this one is uh, 45.03 and this one is 18.01 18.01 so that is the triangle i've extracted from here so that is the angle between two lines the q lines so to get that angle we can use a uh, tangent so therefore tangent of that angle is equals to opposite side which is 45.03 divided by the adjacent which is 18.01 so again to get theta get the tan inverse of both sides simply divide 45.03 by 18.01 the answer you're going to get get the tan inverse and that one should give uh, 68.2 degrees and that is how you're supposed to solve that question